hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna make some coca-cola jerk chicken wings i'm telling you this recipe right here is gonna be super super delicious it's gonna be my first time making it and i know it's gonna be so so good so in my bowl right here guys i've got at least one pack of chicken wings that already wash and clean in some lemon juice okay and these are all of my seasoning here i have one teaspoon of smoked paprika one teaspoon of my jerk powder seasoning one teaspoon of black pepper one teaspoon of onion powder one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning and one teaspoon of cajun seasoning okay and i also have some wet jerk marinade right here and i'm using two teaspoon guys don't forget to share this video give me a thumbs up okay yeah stay tuned so first thing I'm gonna add is some olive oil to my chicken wings at least two teaspoon then I'm also gonna add some of my dark soya sauce just for color and that's at least two teaspoon that's it then I'm gonna blend all my seasoning together like so And I'm just gonna add it onto my chicken wings. I'm not gonna use all of it, I'm gonna leave back some. Yeah, I'm gonna leave back some for my sauce, okay? I'm gonna leave back this amount. Then I'm gonna add my wet jerk seasoning. I'm just gonna take my nice clean hands and mix it all in, okay? You wanna make sure that everything is all combined. And I did not cut my chicken wings, guys. I want it to be whole, okay? So guys, it is nicely, nicely seasoning, as you can see. What you can do, you can leave it to marinate for at least 30 minutes, okay? Yes. So this is my baking tray right here. And to my baking tray, as you can see, I had a baking paper and a grill on top. So now I'm just going to add some water. That's when my chicken in the oven, it keeps nice and moist, okay? Then I'm going to take some olive oil and just rub it on my grill. So the chicken doesn't stick just like so I'm just gonna add my chicken wings onto my rack and I'm gonna put it in my oven guys for at least 30 minutes okay and 180 degree Celsius Make sure they are spaced out. Any season that leave back, you can just add it on. And in the oven it goes guys, so stay tuned. So guys, I just removed my chicken wings from the oven and this is what it's look like. It's been in my oven for just over 35 minutes, okay? I'm telling you, they're looking so, so, so good guys and so juicy. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to take um, the liquid at the bottom and pour on it so it keep nice and moist, okay? Then I'm going to flip it over. Yeah, just like so. I'm loving the color as well guys. It has a nice color.
yeah look at that guys so juicy i'm gonna flip it over also and i'm gonna put it back in my oven for at least 25 minutes okay yes because you know the other side is white so you want it to brown up so it's very important to flip it over because nobody know want a white chicken <laughs> So now that I flip it over, I'm going to pour back some of the liquid on the other side, okay? It's a bit difficult doing it like this, but I just want to show you guys. So in the oven, stay tuned. So guys, my wings is finally finished. And what I did guys, for the last five minutes, I flip it back over. So this side will nice and brown also. It did brown, but obviously, you know, try to turn it over. It was, you know, looking a bit white. So I just flip it back over so I get, you know, some more color. It looks so, so, so good guys. Super, super yummy. It came out perfect. I cannot wait to add it to my sauce. <laughs> Look at that. Yummy. So guys, these are all of my ingredients for my sauce. So in my bowl right here, I've got at least just over one cup of Coke. And I also have half teaspoon of my wet jerk marinade right here. Quarter cup of ketchup. And these are all of my remaining seasoning, okay? First thing, I'm going to add my wet jerk marinade. Then you want to give it a stir. I'm going to also add some granulated sugar. And that's just over one tablespoon. Oops, you see that? <laughs> Give it a stir. I'm gonna add my remaining seasoning. Then I'm gonna add my ketchup. Give it a stir so everything will all combine. I'm gonna add some dark soya sauce, at least one teaspoon. And some barbecue sauce. And the barbecue sauce, guys, just gonna add, you know, extra flavor, okay? And I'm adding at least two tablespoons of my barbecue sauce. You can use whichever barbecue sauce you have. Give it a stir so everything will all combine. So that's done because you know when it start to boil up guys it's gonna dissolve even more okay that's perfect and guys I'm gonna also add some of my ginger powder and I'm gonna add at least half teaspoon of ginger powder because this is just gonna add extra extra flavor I love ginger so that's it right here Ginger make everything nice, guys. So, guys, now I'm going to add my sauce to my pan. So, my stove is on a low heat, okay? You don't want to turn up your stove too high. 
So now I'm going to add my sauce, okay? Just give it a little stir. Gonna add it. And you're just gonna leave it, guys, for it to come to a boil because you want it to be, you know, ticking up. I'm not gonna cover my pot, I'm gonna leave it uncovered. It looks so good. So guys, what I did, I turned up my stove a bit high because I want it to come to a boil, as I said. And you can always taste it to your liking. If you need any salt, any all-purpose seasoning, you know, you can always add, okay? This is perfect. So guys, this is all my sauce look just after four minutes. As you can see, it's getting thick and that's exactly how you want it. It looks super, super delicious. And if it's not too thick guys, you can always add some more ketchup to it, okay? Or barbecue sauce. I want it to go down a bit more, so I'm just gonna leave it, you know, for another three to four minutes, okay? But this is going on very well. So guys, my sauce is finally finished. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna turn my stove off. It came out perfect and it tastes so good guys. Super, super delicious. It's not too spicy, just perfect. Look at that. Look at all that goodness. So as you can see guys, my sauce is cooling down. So what I did guys, I just add my chicken wings to my large glass bowl right here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add my sauce to each one of them, okay? Look at that. So, so, so good. You want to make sure that they're nice and coated. So this is why I put it in this, you know, larger bowl. This recipe right here, guys, is a must try. You all are going to enjoy it, I'm telling you. I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to put it back in my oven, guys, for at least five minutes, okay? So what I'm doing, I'm just going to put it back on my grill. And in the oven it goes, okay? So now guys, I'm going to plate up my chicken wings for you all and show you how it looks. It is finally finished. As you can see, the sauce is all stick on the chicken wings and this is exactly what you want guys. Perfect. And you can serve it with whatever you preferred. With rice, mashed potato salad anything
And if you try this recipe, guys, don't forget to comment below and tell me what it's like, okay? I'm just gonna pour some of my sauce, that leave back, on top of it, just like so. Then I'm just gonna take some of my scallion and add on top for presentation. And there you have it guys. This is how I make my Coca-Cola jerk wings. This recipe right here is a must try. It is absolutely delicious. Your friends, your families, everyone will enjoy it guys. It is so, so, so good. Let me go now up close look. Look at that. Oh my goodness. These are like the perfect wings guys. Perfect. You see the sauce I dropped on? Is it a sass? Look at that drop down. So guys, this is how I make the perfect chicken wings. I'm telling you, this recipe right here is a must try. It is super, super tasty and so flavorful. Guys, please give me a thumbs up. Share this video to your families, to your friends and everyone on your social media. I will really, really appreciate it. I work so hard just to get this video out for you guys. So please support my channel. And if you have been supporting my channel, I thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Much appreciated. So now I'm just going to taste some of my chicken wings and honestly it tastes so good. It is so flavorful, super, super delicious. Honestly guys, you have to try it and comment below and tell me what it's like. It cooks perfectly. I give this recipe 10 out of 10. It is absolutely delicious. I thank you all so much for watching this video. Until next time, bye. Don't forget to keep laughing, keep smiling, no matter what, because God is always on your side. Bye, guys. Much love.